All of us have been to school, and I'm sure all of us have had a subject that we struggled with. I believe this is because schools have created such a, a rigid structure, forcing learners of all kinds to learn in a very particular way. And this causes a problem. You see, this prevents students from learning to their fullest potential. However, I believe that art practices can be used as a gateway that allows these students, particularly those with learning disabilities, to demonstrate their knowledge to the best of their ability. For example, in sci-fi movies, real scientific theories are used to push a plot. And that can be a visual way of presenting relevant textual information a student is required to know. Another example of this would be science projects. So instead of asking a student to write an essay on how certain chemicals react to each other, they would instead create a homemade volcano demonstrating this theory through a hands-on project. In fact, in many uh, conventional education systems, teachers use project-based evaluation all the time. They ask students to do film projects, plays, storytelling, etc. And But these are just a few ways of combining creative and academic learning styles. This combination of evaluation is critical to those with learning disabilities. Consider a learner with dyslexia, for example. So instead of using text to evaluate whether they have learned, their academic growth could be evaluated through a painting, a project, a 3D model, and so many more. This method, or these methods rather, allow the student to communicate their ideas in a way that is clear to both the learner and the assessor. Graphics and text can be used in a variety of ways that combine traditional testing methods with non-traditional testing methods. And so when you put the two together, the student is able to use their project-based assessment to better communicate their ideas in their secondary form of assessment, which would be a traditional test-based evaluation. In our current schooling systems, standardized tests are a huge part of assessing the learning of a student. However, the real question is, how can these progressive ways of expressing understanding be incorporated into a standardized test scale? In fact, there are many schools that have started to implement this progressive way of testing. By giving students this option, Teachers allow the students to create a learning record where various samples of their learning is documented over a long period of time rather than a short written test. This will result in students to be able to overcome their learning disabilities since now their learning is placed and assessed on a scale that is comparable to that of a standardized test scale. Therefore, these students can now transition into a work environment with the same ease as those who excel in a traditional learning institution. Thank you.